Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! Jesus Christ! Turn on, tune in, drop out. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I got my morning coffee this morning. I was thinking about what do I want to upload to YouTube, and I get this phone call from, of all people, my mentor, and this is probably the most influential person that has ever graced my presence. Talked to him for a while, made plans to actually link up with him later on in the year, so I feel great about that. You know, Lesson being, guys, if you have a mentor, reach out to them. They don't necessarily have to reach out to you. It could do wonders for your life. I know the person that set foot in my life totally put my life in the right direction. So this video goes out to you, mentor. And my mentor was actually a radio personality in the late 80s and early 90s. And he, he's he got a lot of interesting stories. And I've met a lot of interesting people through this guy. But this video goes out to you, mentor. And uh, we're going to talk about the five rarest games that I ever found in my local flea market and I wouldn't say these are necessarily the most expensive games. I could totally do a video if you guys want to see the most expensive flea market games that I ever found. But today we're going to do the five, what I consider to be the five uh, rarest games that I ever found at the flea market video games. And when I say rare, I'm going to say they got to have 10 listings or less on eBay. So if there's, a, if there's more than 10 listings, I'm not going to add it to the list. So here we go. The five rarest video games that I ever found at my local flea market. So I was going through a lot of games and I wanted to make sure I had vivid memories of me buying the actual game at the flea market. And then I did my research as of the recording of this video, how many copies are actually on sale on eBay, not sold copies actually for sale. So if you want these games, you know, how many copies could I get right now of a complete copy, not, not a card only copy or a disc only copy, a complete copy. Although I do mention if there are any disc only or complete only copies. So starting at number five, we have Grindstormer, awesome shooter. This is a toe plane shooter. Uh, they released that toe plane collection, but for whatever reason, Grindstormer didn't make the cut, which is, this is really two games in one. It would be Grindstormer and V5, and both versions of that are actually on the cart. I guess I would consider that two separate games. I don't know if on the V5 cart, if Grindstormer is actually on there, but on Grindstormer, you can access V5. This copy is actually complete. Really clean copy, really clean cart. Uh, from what I understand, the Tengen carts uh, can give people issues. Mine works fine. Um, if you go on eBay right now, there's three card onlys and there's one complete copy. The complete copy says it's a rental. It looks pretty clean. There's a sticker on the manual, but I consider it complete. So if you go online, I'd consider there to be one listing on eBay right now as of the recording of this video. So number five, we have Grindstormer. All right, number four. This one's kind of weird. This one might surprise you. Number four, you ready for this? This is weird. All right, here we go. This is a game I haven't played. We got Metal Gear Acid 2 on the PSP. Now, if you go online right now, there's two copies for sale and there's only one complete copy you can get. And I think it's actually going for auction. And the reason it has to be complete is that it has these 3D glasses that actually come with the game. I've never used them, but this is the copy and you got to understand this was my god this was less than five if not five bucks or less at the flea market who knew that psp games were going to get so rare there's still a bunch of them that i want but if you go on ebay right now there's two listings only one complete and that one listing is a auction so it's still going up for auction right now if you're interested it still looks kind of low maybe it's at like 20 bucks or something which is i think that's a lot for this game but two listings one complete on ebay right now that's crazy but i get it you know people were into the psp i love the psp and i'm glad i got what i got a while ago but anyway at number four we have metal gear acid 2. okay number three all right this one this one kind of shocked me i mean it's a really good game hell i'd i'd say it's one of the Definitely top three on the Dreamcast for me anyway. But uh, the original Gigawing. And yes, that's what I paid at the flea market right there. There's a crack in the case, but the case is original. I never swapped the case out. Um, super rare. There's, you can get a Japanese copy, though. It's really easy to play Japanese games on your Dreamcast. If for whatever reason you don't know how to do that in your Dreamcast, 
hit me up on social media i'll burn you a, a boot disc or something but yeah we got giga wing um this game right now on ebay there's two copies let me double check my notes here okay there's two copies there, all right, there's three listings okay two are loose one's graded that graded one's like two grand or you know you know people sell those graded games for stupid money so I'd, I'd only say if you wanted to go on eBay right now, there's only one complete listing, which is the graded copy. Um, I think that the three listings, like the loose ones, they sell for maybe like 150 or something like that. This is crazy, but I remember when this was a common game. This is a pretty common game, and uh, now it's not. So that's crazy. And you know what's even crazier to think about? If you want Giga Wing 2, yeah, Giga Wing 2, like a U.S. copy, that's going to cost you hundreds of dollars, two, three, 250 300 whatever. But there's multiple copies of that listed on eBay. You want an original copy of Giga Wing that's much cheaper? There's none. But you can get a Japanese copy, and I think it's under 100 So you can access this game if you really want to. And that's what I would recommend you do. Like, if I didn't find this at the flea market, I would have definitely bought a Japanese copy for, like, fuck, I'd... I'd have paid like 80 for it or whatever, but anyway, Giga Wing on the Dreamcast. Again, a one listing, one listing game. Okay, now this next one, this one, this one just recently got really rare, right? I mean, this was always a rare game, but this one really, really recently got really rare. Okay, and the reason I know that is because I had people message me on social media telling me that they bought copies of this game. And that like how hard this game was to find and how rare it is. So we got 100% cotton on the PS1. Now this is a port of the Super Famicom 100% cotton, which I guess is a remake. Or maybe it's the sequel to the original cotton. I don't know. I'm not a huge cotton fan. And hell, I haven't even played this game a ton. I'm a, I'm a busy guy. Um, and this was a flea market find. Wasn't cheap. Wasn't a, wasn't break the bank or anything. I don't remember it being anything like that but um i don't remember this being a, a cheap game but anyway if you go online right now there's only one copy for sale it's a new copy and i think that dude wants like 14 or 1500 bucks for it which is which is crazy but i want to say maybe five or six months ago there was tons of used copies and they were expensive they were like 160 180 uh 220 maybe there was like five six seven listings those are all gone now there's just one guy selling one for 1500 which would make this more expensive and more rare than you know like harmful park or something like that which is crazy to think about and there's tons of harmful park listings on the internet but there's only one of these so yeah i would say this is probably as of right now this is probably the rarest shooter on the ps1 right now because there's only one listing up on ebay but crazy to think about but anyway 100 percent cotton on the ps1 now i do have something rarer than this all right got this one just recently too i remember i played this in a hotel room because like my girlfriend went to florida and came back and he wanted to isolate because of the virus and i remember i got this at the flea market and got an adapter and went over to the hotel room and stayed there for a week and this is one of the games i played sonic blast man 2 now, this cart is a little beat up, okay? You see that? Now this cart, let me just say this, it works fine. And it's an original cart. I would hope this thing's original. I mean, they opened it up, it looks good to me. But this is a pretty decent beat em up. Now to me, is this as good as Ninja Warriors? No, no it's not. This is not as good as Ninja Warriors, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Taito, they didn't, uh, I don't know if this came out before Ninja Warriors or after, but uh, Ninja Warriors for me for a beat-em-up is, is the standard. Uh, I, I, that's, the, that's what I use to set a standard is that game. So that's how good it is. But this is a pretty decent beat-em-up. Okay, I think I paid, God, 80 or $90 for this. It wasn't cheap and it's a beat-up cart. And I, was, I really wanted to play this. I was at the flea market. So I was like, okay, and I'd seen this in the case for a long time, but I watched somebody on YouTube and they made a video and they mentioned this game in the video and it looked good. Hell, it might've even have been, honestly, it might've been hell, Radical Reggie, I think mentioned this game. And it really doesn't matter who mentioned it. I looked up some gameplay. I looked up a long play on it and I was like, damn, should I got to get that? And I did, and it's pretty good, but 
there's no listings on eBay right now. There's none. Um, every now and then one pops up and this will sell for anywhere from 150 to 220. I'd say in this condition, honestly, this thing's probably worth maybe 120 bucks if that, but there's no listings up. So that does kind of suck, but there's Japanese copies. I think you can get, it should be the same game in Japanese. So there is ways to play it. So that's a good thing. Anyways, guys, that's what I got here. I'll show you everything in one, one fail swoop. That's what I put together for the list. I do have other games and I didn't actually look everything up, but for the, the I think that's pretty much it. I think that's the, the, the rarest stuff that I ever found at the flea market. Now, I could do a most expensive games I ever found at the flea market if you want. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace.